What up, Screen Fiends? I'm GB, and you're tuned in to Screenheads TV, where we like to discuss all the wonderful things appearing on your movie and your TV screens. In this episode, we're going to discuss the new Alien Covenant prologue titled The Crossing. Okay, first let me start by saying I've been staying away from a lot of the promotional stuff for, you know, the movies that I'm watching this year. You guys know that if you've watched any of my videos. Um, I've only been watching just the first trailer, sometimes the teaser and the trailer. Now, with Alien, they're doing something that I love when movies do. And I wish more movies did it and took advantage of, of the viral marketing campaigns. I love when movies put out these little side things, um, websites, videos, whatever it is, that you know tie into the movie, but that aren't, that aren't direct scenes from the movie, right? Aren't, well, I shouldn't say direct scenes. That aren't scenes directly from the movies, right? So... Um, I really hope that I'm right about this and this isn't a scene. This isn't stuff that's actually in the movie. Um, I doubt that they would release it this way and call it a prologue if it was in the movie. But the way movies market now with all the spoilers out there, it just, it, it scares me. And I almost didn't watch it. But because it said prologue, I'm like, you know what? Chances are that this is just like the TED Talks video for Prometheus, where it's a tie-in, where it's not going to be in the movie at all. All right, so I gave it a whirl. And man, is it good and interesting and intriguing. It's not like action-packed or anything, but it answers a big question that everyone had from Prometheus. And that's what happens to David and Shaw. Now... I really, really think, and I hope I'm right, that this was all deleted material. Material that they shot, that they said, you know what, it doesn't fit in the movie, it doesn't work with the flow, or it makes the movie too long, something like that. And they said, instead, we'll put it together as a prologue. The reason why I think that is because there's special effects and stuff in it, and, you know, and, and it looks like stuff ripped from the movie. So, I really hope... It's not just ripped from the movie. And it was deleted from the movie. And they said, rather than delete it, let's make a prologue. Plus, it holds essential information. Now, uh, let me just explain the clip real quick. It's David and it's Shaw and it's in the, 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 the engineer ship on their journey to the engineer's planet. Which I guess is the planet we're getting we're getting in Prometheus. There, I mean in Prometheus, an alien covenant. I believe they're calling it Paradise. Now, you know, it shows David instructing Shaw to put him back together. It shows them mapping out the, you know, their route, and it shows it. It ends with well, right before the ending, it has David putting Shaw into cryo sleep, and then. It ends with David hovering over the planet, which what looks like a bunch of people, beings, engineers, I don't know, around it. Like it, like it looks like some sort of weird altar. Look, check, check it out. It, I think it's on YouTube, but it's definitely on IMDb. Uh, but I think it's on YouTube too. So um, now, all right. I Like I said, I hope I'm right and it it's not something that's in the movie and this is spoiling it because that's terrible okay if that's the case terrible if that's the case but i'm gonna go think positive and say no it was material that they either felt didn't work in the flow of the movie or took away from who the main characters of the movie are which aren't Shaw and david the main characters are the crew of the covenant right so let's not mistake that so that could very well be why they took this out or maybe it was ridley's plan from the beginning to have a prologue explaining David and Shaw. Um, but here's the problem I have. Even if I'm right. Which I hope I am. So even if I'm right. I still have a problem with this kind of being essential information for the fans. So not including it in the movie is a mistake to me. Because if you have to rely on another piece of material. Whether it be a book, a comic, uh, a prologue, a short, whatever. If you have to rely on that 
another piece of information outside of the movie to explain the movie, that's a mistake to me. So I really hope that this is a minor plot point in the movie and all it does is, is bridge the gap between Prometheus and Covenant and uh, explain why David is in the movie the way he is. I hope that's the only purpose for it because if that's the case, then even without the, the prologue, we uh, you know it, it, we don't need to know why David is there or what ha you know what I mean? So hopefully as far as narrative goes, we don't need that information for the narrative. But, and you know, and it's just an icing on the cake. But if it turns out that we actually need the, the prologue for the movie to work, or for David's appearance to work, that's a big, big problem for me. So hopefully it is what I said, and it's material that was taken out of the movie or created separately just for this prologue and not an actual part of the movie. That's number one. And then number two, hopefully that this isn't essen essential information that you need to have seen for the movie to make sense to you. Covenant. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure they'll show it before Alien Covenant anyway. I hope they do. But it, whether they do or don't, you shouldn't need that for it to be essential. Uh, and maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be like a before the credits roll. Like how Prometheus had the scene with the engineers drinking the black goo and all that. So maybe that's the case. And and then I won't be upset. If that's the capacity that it's like the opening before the credits, I'm cool with that. All right, sound off down below. Let me know what you thought about the Alien uh, Covenant prologue, The Crossing. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you think about the movie. What you think about any of this video at all. <laughs> Even the quality of it. Even if you think my hair looks silly. <laughs> um, just come out, c comment down below. Come out. <laughs> come out. Comment down below and I'll comment back. I pretty much hit up all my comments. Good, bad, ugly. Doesn't matter. I, I, I respond. Um, I'm, I'm a man of the people. <laughs> Sound off down below, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Show some love for the channel. The channel appreciates it. It helps the channel grow. And uh, you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.